A group of missionaries are currently in Honduras anxiously waiting to get back to Lubbock. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski spoke to them today. Now, Brenda, how long have they already been down there? Terry, they've been down there a little bit over a week. They were supposed to come back on the 20th, but Honduras closed its borders. The great news is, is they just found out a few hours ago that they will be able to return back home on Saturday. When I spoke to them earlier today, they said they were hopeful. I think we miss our number one thing is our family. Denise Brashears and 16 other members of the missionary at Harvest Church decided to go on a mission trip over 2,000 miles to La Ceiba, Honduras on Friday, March 13th. What happened next was unexpected. Hotels and restaurants, all the businesses in the city were um, shutting down to drive through only and um, limiting people's access in town. Denise says the group was transported to another location in the city where they continued their missionary efforts. We were quick to ask the Lord to continue to provide ministry opportunities. And after the town shut down, we still had two opportunities to go out and minister and give out food, rice and beans to people that were away from town and possibly weren't able to get food. Pastor Bracken Christian with the church says as soon as he heard, they knew they had to take action. Once we sent money for them to be able to stay, then we started working on what are we going to do, how are we going to get them out. He says they called on outside help. Uh, we've contacted the governor's office. We contact. I sent uh, an email to uh, Senator Ted Cruz. Despite all obstacles, the missionary group says they've remained hopeful. The neat thing is that we all... We do have a spirit of faith and we just knew that things were going to work out one way or another. We definitely went straight to prayer and asking the Lord to provide for us um, on all levels. Indeed, prayers were answered. Pastor Bracken says the group will come back on a special plane and that he's especially grateful for Representative Jody Arrington's office for helping bring them back home. Terry? All right, good news there. Thanks, Brenda.